Monday, November 2015, this family with two boys, about eight and nine years old, has five hamsters, five dwarf hamsters. Now, this one is called Fearless. As you can see, there is a big swelling on his right eye. The upper eyelids and the lower eyelids are much swollen. And uh, this has ha been happening for over a week. What's the cause of this? So I take the hamster out. Now it does bite and nipple. It does bite. So it's not too many of them does bite. Now you can see he has been rubbing his eyelids board. Now if you see clearly there's a white spot. There's a white spot in the center of his eye. White spot and that is the cornea ulcer. You can see it there. It just close up. And uh, now you can see. So he has a right cornea, central cornea ulcer in his eye. Now what to do about it? You can see the white spot. Yeah. It's over a week. They said the ulcer has become uh, white and it's very painful and itchy. So he's been rubbing his upper and lower eyelids until they are puffed up. Now I will have to check whether there's any sand inside the eyelids. So I would have to put this hamster under anesthetic gas, clean the, wash the eyes and check for abscess in the eyelids or sand or dirt or even the wood shavings lodge inside under the eyelids uh, obviously you can't do it without uh, anesthesia I mean the other way is just to give some eye drops and hope for the best but it's best not to just give eye drops but to really check for foreign bodies below the eyelids on the right eye so this is what I do afterwards. Now let's see. You can see. You can see the white spot. Just uh, try some tension. You can't open his eyes white. So the right eye especially you can't really see. Closer, Open closer up a bit. Now, in dogs, you can always put an Elizabeth collar, but uh, in hamsters, it's difficult to do it. Yeah. So, now obviously, there you see he's rubbing his eyes. You see, he's rubbing his right eye. He doesn't rub his left eye because the left eye is normal. So the right eye is very painful. So you need to stop the hamster from rubbing his right eye. Or dogs. Or cats. Yeah. That is the, the, the solution is to stop it. And how to do it. You see the hamster is difficult to stop him from doing it. So the more he rubs, the more he injures himself. You can try the Elizabeth collar or medication painkillers see this is this is this explain why the hairs are all gone okay now I will talk about the other two hamsters now there was another hamster number two which uh, was quite interesting in the sense that I did some illustrations 
as you can see here the big cheek tumor 6 cm times 2 times times uh, 2 cm times is a firm tumor yeah and uh, this was in in uh, let me see this in September 222014 and uh, I'm surprised I did such a nice drawing so this hamster was at that time one and a half years old male he was weighing 52 grams before surgery and after removal the tumour was 48 grams and he lived 5 months without any pain and he stopped biting people as well but the, the tumour came back again 5 months later in uh, February 2015 this time it was very large and very fast so I told the owner that the hamster was too weak to be operated upon so so they brought home and the hamster died two or three weeks later in his sleep and uh, if I had operated he would have died as well during anesthesia so this is a case where you don't operate uh, in uh, weak hamsters sick hamsters but the thing is that the owner might have delayed bringing in the, the hamster because of the cost or other reasons being too busy the cheek tumour was already 8 times 6 cm and quite large yeah. then the third hamster was called Fluffy there was no problem and died of OH and Speedy was healthy and Timid has no problem and only Fearless who is the sibling of uh, Timid bought together who has this eye irritation now all of them live separately because dwarf hamsters don't like to to live together now you can see much clearer the white spot there white spot on his cornea and uh, so this is costing the mum a lot of money but uh, this mum is good in the sense that she does send the hamster for treatment but uh, it's best to, let, to get the tumours removed when they are very small and not wait when they are over 0.5 cm now that the first time she did come and uh, the, the tumours were 2 cm times 1.5 times 1.5 cm but the second time she came it grew very fast after 5 months of uh, freedom from tumour the, the cheek tumour grew to uh, 8 mm times 6 mm times 0.5 mm so although it was small but it's, uh, the hamster was weak so there was no surgery so in conclusion hamsters and dogs and cats eye injury is best to treat within one day of injury rather than wait until one week plus or two weeks for BioVets Singapore November 30th 2015 as for tumours, it's best to get them removed and they are less than 5mm in size.